YouTube, what's up? Man, it's been a minute since I cooked, huh? I'm just cooking today. I said I decided to cook for y'all because I ain't did it in a long time. But yeah, I just been cooling today, you know, knocking back a couple of brews, just enjoying life. I'm really blessed, you know. Now I'm just, I, I'm really just trying to enjoy my blessings in life, you know, because God has carried me a long way. But we finna grill some steaks today, you know what I mean? I know I already seasoned them, but I was like, man, let me go and do a video since I ain't did a cooking video in a minute. All right, but yeah, we can go ahead and get with it. All right, come on. See, I know I already got them seasoned and stuff like that. I got them already ready to go, but this is what I put on. I just put some of that, you know what I'm saying, grill mix, smokehouse maple. Put that on now. Then I put a little, you know, let me turn it around. Put a little lime juice on now, all right? That's all I put on now, you know. I put that up on now. And after that, I should let them, let, them, let them sit and get room temperature and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take We're going to grill them outside. You know, I usually be in the kitchen and shit. We're going to go ahead and take them outside, all right? All right, we're going to go ahead and get this bad boy nice and hot. You know what I mean? My little mini grill. I like this grill, too. Hey, hey it get hot as shit, y'all. <laughs> but y'all like this grill. We're going to go ahead and get this thing hot, get these chocolates ready. To you got to go ahead and just let the chocolates get hot until they turn great. You know what I mean? I like chilling outside anyway. It's a beautiful day out here, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I like that old town rock and roll. That kind of steak just soothes my soul. I had one about a few days ago. So I'm gonna cook my own on this rock and roll. Woo! You know, I've been drinking too, y'all. I've been having me a few drinks, just enjoying life, man, you know? But yeah, wait till they get gray, man. You'll be good to go, all right? You know, after the coals get hot, usually I spray my coals out a little bit, you know what I mean? Because that's the way I do it. You can do it the way you want to do it, but I spray my coals out and shit like that. But, uh, I'm going to spread these coals out. I'm going to let it do its thing, and I'm going to let the, uh, thing just, I'm going to let the, I said, the, I call it the thing, then. Man, yeah. Just one of them days, baby. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just let the uh, grill just, you know, smoke out and heat up the way I want it to. You know, it really don't take much, not really, but that's what I do. It's just the way I do it, you know what I mean? And I'm just let it, you know, put the lid on it, put the uh, thing on it. Well, you know, the damn grill thing on top. Put that on now. And I'm just let it, you know, smoke on its own, all right? Oh, got my cold spread out like I wanted them. I'm just going to put the lid on, just let the whole damn thing get hot, all right? Damn. Put it on backwards, man. Eh? Well, to me, that's backwards. I'm just going ahead and let this whole thing get hot, all right? Well, you know, you know you got a lot of grill masters, pit masters, and all kind of people that, you know, be grilling and doing their thing, you know what I mean? I ain't knocking them, but, you know, they want to tell people how to cook a certain way and how to do it their way and how you should do it and how you should flip it and how you should, you know, get it tender and all that. Who gives a shit? I'm eating it, not you. You cook yours, I cook mine. So go ahead and put them on now, all right? I'm gonna smoke out. All right, trust the meat. You know, and when you put them on there, you know that you know that smoke gonna get to circulating, right? When that smoke get to circulating, you know, don't be opening up the grill trying to look at it and trying to see how it look and all that shit. Don't do that. You know what I mean? Just go ahead and just let the smoke do its thing, to get it to you know circulating around the meat. <laughs> but uh, you know, usually just cook it about. You know, what I'm saying I, I usually do mine about you know about ten to twelve minutes. You know, each side, you know, and sometimes I flip them more. Sometimes I let them sit a little bit longer, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I do, you know. You can do it the way you want to do it, but that's how I do. All right. See how it's going? Do not open that lid. Leave it alone. You know, just let it go. Trust the meat, all right? Went on this truck to pass, by, but yeah, I got them going. I'm going to go ahead and look at them. How you looking? Flip them. When you flip them, don't pinch them. Do it real gently. Real gently.
Look at that one in the middle. You see that? Little brimber, that's the way I like it on the outside, that crust. And when you see it like that, you rotate them. You know, this is a small grill. Where I do it, you rotate them. Put them right up in there. Keep it going and cover them up, all right? You know, see, see, when you flip them, you can tell the hot side from the cool side. You know what I'm saying? And you know, <clears throat> with me, I like mine a little crusty on the outside. But you know, I like them medium well. Then I like them well done, but I like them real tender. You know what I mean? I like real tender steak. You know, you know, it's like, you know, some people think it's real complicated to cook steak. It's not really complicated to cook steak. It's not, not, not steak, but steak. It's not real complicated to cook it. You know what I mean? A lot of people afraid to do it. I ain't scared of shit, cause I'm gonna eat it anyway. I don't give a damn how it turn out, but it's still gonna be fine. All right. Then you know, then when it comes to grilling steak, it depends on what grill you grilling it on, or you know what I'm saying, or how you can control the grill, how you can control the heat. You know, you got the top side, then you got the bottom side with the you know temperature gauge and all that shit. If you leave the temperature gauge wide open on the bottom side, you know that's gonna turn your grill up. But with the gauge on the top, if it's wide open, it's turning it up stupid hot. You know, but you gotta adjust them holes. You know what I'm saying? The further close. The close, well, how can I say it? <clears throat> the more closed the holes are, the lower the temperature will be. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, basically common sense. But, you know, it's once you get to doing it, you know what I mean? Like, you know, a lot of pit masters are going to tell you different or they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Who gives a fuck? But like I was saying, you know, like I was saying, though, <clears throat> I'm trying to improve on my curse words. Like I was telling you guys. You know, if you, you know, the temperature gauges is on the, you know, you know, the little holes in the barbecue grill where, you know, go back and forth and stuff like that. The closer they are, well, the more closed they are, the lower the temperature is going to be. The wide, if they wide open, it's going to be hot than a sum of a bitch. Plus, you know, when it comes to grilling and stuff, I like to flip my meat and rotate my meat a whole lot. You know what I mean? I like doing that shit, you know. I don't know, it's just a, I don't know. I like grilling. I like grilling. I like cooking. I really like cooking YouTube. I really do. It's a real good thing to me. You know, it's like therapy. It's like working out. Working out is therapy. Grilling, cooking is therapy. You know what I mean? Praying is therapy too. You know, I like to pray a lot. You know what I mean? I pray a lot. You know, a lot of people, you know, they wait to get out on their knees and pray and stuff like that. I ain't got to do that. You know, I can walk, you know, I can pray in my head at work. I'm praying in my mind. I'm talking to the Lord in my mind. I can be in the bathroom. I'm talking to him. It's, I can speak out loud. I'm talking to him because God is good. God's been good to me. He's been good to y'all all the time. You know what I mean? A lot of people walk out on God because when bad things happen, don't get me wrong. You know, I done got, you know, pissed off too. But at the end of the day, you know, being human is not an excuse. We just got to strengthen our faith in him. You know what I'm saying? We got to strengthen, strengthen our faith in him because the way he's trying to take us, you'll never know the plan. You, you, if you tell God your plan, he's going to laugh at you because he always got a better plan. God is real clever. God is smart. God is impossible. God is excellent. He is. You know what I mean? And I thank God so much for changing my life and making my life for the better. Y'all you, you, just won't get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying a little Easter speech right now while I'm cooking. But, you know, I'm just saying. You know, God has been good to me, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to talk. You know what I mean? But, you know, it is, this is McFly's kitchen. You know, it ain't cool with McFly. We grilling some steaks, so I ain't gonna talk y'all ear off. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. You know, we all blessed and highly favored. You know what I'm saying? God got me, and He got you too. All right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I flipped them three times. See what they're looking like. They're ready to go. Go ahead and take them off. All right. Go ahead and get them off the grill. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. All right. One thing you do when you take a steak off the grill, don't cut it open. I know that. Let it rest for five minutes before you serve it, alright? Keep fucking with me, I'm gonna keep fucking with you, alright? I'm gone.